Hi everyone, Silver Joker here. Okay, so there's a lot of talk about $50 silver in 2023. $50 silver this year. And if you follow my channel, you know how I feel about these high valuation predictions for silver. But I'm going to say something that may surprise you. I believe that we could possibly come close to $50 silver this year. But trust me, not the way you think. So today is May 31st, 2023. And right now, silver spot price is $23.58. And if we go over to findbullionprices.com, um, we can see the best price we can get for physical silver rounds is around $29. And generic silver bars are over $30. It used to be the other way around. And American Silver Eagles are dipping their toe in at just under $39. All right, so if you're like me, you stack silver round bars and a few premium coin. And excluding junk silver price, but including spot price, <laughs> we have four different price points for our bullion. So what's the price here? I mean, are we going by spot price? Are we going by the buyback price? Or are we going by how much it's gonna cost us to put physical silver in our stacks? To me, this is the biggest issue facing new stackers and a lot of the veteran stackers that I follow. So what is it? What is my physical silver worth? Now look, there are lots of places you can go online that will give you the melt value of your silver. You could even do a search on eBay to see what people are paying for certain rounds and bars and coins, that kind of thing. You could find out, but where does that price come from? Where do they get this price? And how much does spot price play in determining what your silver's worth? Now, I've said this in several of my videos. Price and value are completely different concepts. But price and value are just two of the things that encompass worth. The third is cost. <laughs> cost is the amount a seller incurs in order to offer a product or service for sale. Right? And the cousin to cost is what our our local coin shop owners and a lot of the bullion dealers have to deal with and that's overhead you know since most of them most of the sellers and dealers don't produce the products that they sell to us they have to pay a price to get them and that price in turn is passed on to us the consumer now it's always debatable how that price is determined because every coin shop owner or bullion dealer has a different price and some of those prices are only slightly different uh, from coin shop to coin shop, but some are just plain crazy. And I'm sure you've come across a few of them. But the bottom line is if you want physical silver, you're gonna have to pay those prices. And since the idea of owning or stacking physical silver is to retain some value or possibly grow some value, we wanna get that silver, that physical silver, as cheaply as we can. So when we see spot price is $23.58 and then a Silver Eagle is pushing $40, we think there's something wrong. And that's where I believe stackers get confused, especially the new stackers. When someone predicts that physical silver is going to $30 or to $50 or higher, then a lot of stackers, especially new stackers, assume that that is going to be the value of their physical silver. If I buy silver today at $25 or $30 an ounce, and then you're telling me that it's going to be $50 here pretty soon, then I'm naturally going to assume that if I buy today at $30, then I'll be able to make a profit when it reaches $50. So basically what they're looking for is they're looking for spot price to be $30, $50 or higher in price. But here's what a lot of stackers miss, especially the new stackers. When we talk about silver's high valuations, we're talking about how much it costs to get it, not how much it you can get for selling it. That's a whole different subject, and we'll get into that later. 
but that's what we're talking about. So in a very real sense, silver's already above $30 an ounce. And it's been there for a while. It's above $40 an ounce or close to $40 an ounce when it comes to premium coins like eagles, maple leaves, those kind of things. If you buy those, you know that you're paying very close to $40 an ounce for that silver. So in a very real sense, we're already at these high valuations. So it's not what you can sell your silver for is what it costs you to get it. Now that is a value. That is a value and that value derives from cost, from the sellers who you buy from their overhead, which we talked about. Now, if those prices are reasonable to you, <laughs> if those prices that they're asking for that physical silver is reasonable, reasonable to you and you pay them, then you value that silver above that price. And for the most part, the way it seems today, a lot of us are doing that. These sellers are taking full advantage of our willingness to pay whatever the cost so far to get that silver in our stack. So in a very real sense, we are setting the price for physical silver. We are setting that premium by paying that price. Now, I've been doing this for a long time. I've been stacking silver for a long time. I've been buying silver and putting it in my stack for a while. I've been talking to the experts. I've been talking to people who've been doing it longer than I have. And so they're very knowledgeable. And this is what I've discovered. You know, value is something that can't easily be quantified using dollars. You know, some things that we value will measure in dollars but not in dollars earned by it, but in dollar cost to get it, right? Where we place the value of physical silver is in what it provides. Financial security, stability, a safe haven for our hard earned wealth. I mean, to me, I do what I have to do to earn my wealth. Silver's value, at least for me, is in helping me to protect that wealth that I've earned. You earn your wealth, you want to maintain it. And so if there's a way that you could protect it or lock in some of the value that you've earned, then wouldn't you do that? And what would it cost you? Or what would you be willing to pay for that financial security, for that stability, for that feeling that things are safe financially for you going forward? And most importantly, at least for me, is knowing that it's in my complete control, that I have complete and total access to that financial stability. And that, my friends, that is the value of your silver. That is the value. At least it is for me. That's why I tell you guys that the price of silver is secondary to the amount of silver that I can stack. For now, you know, whatever it costs to get that silver, that's what I'm willing to pay. I just have to cut back on the amount that I can buy uh, at any given time because it's gonna benefit me far greater than any of these fiat dollars could in the future. That's my own personal belief system and that's my own personal value that I place on my silver. So what is your silver worth? Well, you have to determine that for yourself and it's not gonna be what those dollars say it is because if that's your worth, then you might as well just hold on to those dollars. But if you value silver for what it can do for you, if you believe after you've researched and come to an understanding of what physical silver can do for you realistically, what, is ex what it is expected to do for you realistically, and you determine that this is what you're gonna need to protect your financial health, then that's where your value goes. It's not in the dollars that it's costing you to get it. It's in the security that it's gonna provide, like your ammunition. Anyway, I feel like I've talked a little longer than I wanted to. I appreciate you guys stopping by. I got some amazing things coming up that I want to share with you that deals with my local coin stores. I think you're going to find it very interesting. And, you know, we're just going to keep this silver train rolling. Keep stacking. Peace.